Thank you very much. Archbishop uh, Akazian, Archbishop Chaloyan, uh, Mr. Ambassador, uh, my good friend, my one of my favorite Armenians, Frank Pallone. <laughs> uh, we got one clap back there. My good friend, uh, Joe Nolenberg. Uh, where did Mr. Bill Arrakis go? Mr. Bill Arrakis, uh, Gus. I will be brief. This is a recognition of an event that happened 93 years ago. But as I have told people all over this country, the resolution which I have sponsored since the early 80s and have supported since the early 80s is not about what happens in 1915 and 1923. It is about what's happening today. Dr. Stanton, as you know, let me remind you what's happening today and put this in the context of which I speak. Denial is happening today. And denial is the child of repetition. Because if one does not remember that which happened and recognize it for what it was, a genocide, then the risk of it being repeated is far greater not just for the Armenians, not just for the Turks. Darfur was spoken about. The UN put out a report, 300,000 people. And the world talks, but doesn't act. And the Bashir government facilitates and participates in genocide in South Sudan and Darfur. So don't accept the premise at all that this resolution is about what happened in 1915 and 1923. Does it recognize it? Does it relate to it? Of course. But it is a resolution which says to not just the Turks, not just the Armenian people, but to all peoples that we need to recognize the transgressions of the past, however heinous they may be and however much we may want to deny them. Because if we do not, our children will not recognize their responsibility to never let it happen again. So when you speak out for this resolution, you do not speak for Armenians alone. You speak for peoples all over the world, subjected because of their nationality, their religion, their race, or even their culture to an attempt at extermination. Thank you for what you do for the values of our country and the international community. God bless you.